Welcome to our June edition of Town Topics. I'm your host, Amanda Thompson, and I'm here with First Selectman Jim Hayden. Good afternoon. How are you, Amanda? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing fine. It's the end of the year, so it's a lot of busy things going on as we <laughs> close one financial year and open another financial year. That's right. And uh, it's, uh, you know, between roads and roofs and paving, oh, uh, lots is going on. I can't wait to hear. I've seen a lot of the progress around town, so I'm excited to hear about that. So you're starting, uh, sounds like you have some town meetings coming up to kind of finalize some? some yeah, some the, uh, we, always have a, uh, we always have a, a town meeting at the end of June okay. to uh, do some financial things that you need to do to close out accounts um, for the year end because our okay. old fiscal year, fiscal year 19, ends June 30th and our mm -hmm. new one, uh, FY20, fiscal year 20, starts on uh, July 1st. So right. there's some, some things that have to happen, and one of those things is uh, is the closing out of, of previous capital accounts. Mm -hmm. So capital, when we have several pockets of money mm -hmm. that comprise the annual operating budget. So you have the Board of Ed budget, you've got the Board of Selectmen slash general government budget, mm -hmm. you've got debt repayment, so that right now is paying for a couple small, well, small amounts, uh, but good projects, uh, the LED project over at Hall Grove and the last mm -hmm. year of the project here at, at the Town Hall buildings, okay. and and along with the, uh, with, uh, with the Seymour renovation that was done in 2012. Right. So that's all part of the debt repayment. Plus, um, what we anticipate we're going to spend to borrow money uh, for mm -hmm. the roads and roofs project uh, that was approved by the town. Okay. And um, we, what we're going to do is what they, they call a bond anticipation note. Okay. Uh, so that's, uh, think of it as interest only. For the first year, for the first year, and then we'll do it the second year for the amount that we'll need to borrow. The first year we're going to borrow about 4.6 million, so we're authorized for more, mm -hmm. but we're only going to borrow what we need. Right. And then, as pretty much as things start to get completed, and then next year, then we'll do a certain, you know, probably a similar amount of money. Mm -hmm. But in the third year, we'll go out for permanent bonding. Okay. Uh, and uh, we, we are a small town, but we have a very, very good financial rating of a double A, double A two, uh, and uh, that uh, is uh, is a very good rating for a town our size. Uh, mm -hmm. It shows good fi financial stability, um, good cash reserves, and uh, and uh, it's uh, something that is very, very important. And when you go out to borrow money, you're able to, to get money at a cheaper interest rate. Mm -hmm. So the uh, so that's one component of the budget. The other component is the capital budget. So when people vote for the entire budget, they're voting for those four components. And mm -hmm. the capital budget is a five-year plan that we have. It's a rotating five-year plan. Mm -hmm. So as a result of that, we. It's our, our list, it's the equivalent of you're at home and you've got some big purchases uh, mm -hmm. coming up, replacement costs, uh, you know, time to do the driveway, time to do the roof, mm -hmm. trying time to, and I don't want to jinx anybody, especially myself, time to replace the water pump mm -hmm. uh, uh, at the well. And, and so, you know, you plan for that. You know, hopefully uh, they don't just fall apart on you, you're able to plan on it and say, okay, this is the year for the siding, two years from now is for the roof, mm -hmm. three, four, three, four years from now is going to be the windows. Right. So we translate that back over at the town side, so we know that what it is that we need to do to maintain the town assets, mm -hmm. uh, and some of that is uh, our items that we're going to be bringing to town meeting on the 25th. And um, so the other thing that you do is you close out your 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 own account. Mm -hmm. So for example, we are, um, so at the meeting, which is going to be uh, on June 25th, on mm -hmm. Tuesday at 7.30 at the uh, Senior Community Center, mm -hmm. uh, we're going to close capital accounts that we have completed. Mm -hmm. And uh, and we're returning about $14,000 overall of funds that we had. We didn't, because whenever we go for, for a um, capital item, we'll say to the Board of Selectmen will say to the Board of Finance, who collectively say it to the town meeting, mm -hmm. a sum not to exceed. 
Right. So uh, when we don't exceed that amount, we turn it back. Mm -hmm. And uh, so in this particular case, we're returning about fourteen thousand dollars of the capital projects that we that we're looking to close out, okay. which is the town hall windows, the backhoe, the plow truck, the police cruiser, the fire department utility truck, and the roof design account uh, that uh, we had. Uh, gone to town meeting for approval mm -hmm. because uh, we needed to do the design of the uh, architectural and design uh, for, for the roofs mm -hmm. replacement of the five buildings for the for, for the town right. um, turned out that by the time all that was completed we had the approval from the town so we were mm -hmm. able to pay for that out of the bond instead of out of the capital so we're, okay. we're returning that entire ten thousand okay. dollars so the uh, so anyway so that's well that's part one and part two mm -hmm. is the uh, this is the capital items that we're looking at to do projects during the summer. Mm -hmm. So and we traditionally do that and there's two from uh, the current fiscal year and one from fiscal year 20. And uh, we if you're up at East Granby uh, Farms you know you see beautiful fields and everything's well maintained. But if you start to look at the Historical Society barn and you start to look at the, the Kilbon barn, mm -hmm. you'll see that they need to be painted or stained or whatever oh, it is right. that we're okay. going to do. And then when you're looking at it, uh, you know, and so we need to make sure we do that so mm -hmm. that we maintain the property and we maintain the value of town buildings. Mm -hmm. Are you still going to do the pretty red? We're going to do the, we're going to do the same red that's there. Uh, although it'll look, like a, it, they look nice. although it, they do look nice, uh, so far most red, right. uh, and, and and it will uh, look a little different than what it looks now because these are ten years worth yeah. of weather. Mm -hmm. So when you see it, we haven't changed the color. It's just that it's not as weather. Yeah, it's just fresh. So uh, we are, are looking to uh, request ten, uh, eight thousand dollars to do that. We got three mm -hmm. different quotes. And um, we uh, we thought about putting whether we should put one coat or two coats on. We think we can put one coat on. Okay. So uh, so that's one project. The, another project is um, is the uh, air pack replacement bottles for the fire department. So they have the they have air apparatus uh, mm -hmm. that they use when they go into fires and uh, that keeps them safe and keeps their oxygen levels correct. Mm -hmm. And um, so the, they, uh, the bottles, the oxygen bottles themselves have a shelf life, and their yeah. shelf life is about 15 years. Mm -hmm. And we're starting to reach the end of those, so as part of our five-year plan, we put in uh, you know, this year replacement of 20 bottles and next year replacement of 20 bottles. So we're just looking to access 23,000, some not to exceed $23,000. Mm -hmm. For the replacement of 20 of the fire uh, department air pack replacement bottles, okay. and um, and related equipment, you know, valves and things like that, mm -hmm. and uh, and then we will uh, this time of year next year mm -hmm. uh, we will go for the other 20, okay. um, and uh, we've also applied for grants so that if we do get any grants on this, then that will help us with next year's capital item. But this year's okay. capital item. We need to have a replenishment cycle so that, uh, and we're stretching it over two years, so it's not forty-six thousand dollars; it's twenty-three thousand dollars over two years. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the third capital item is um, the uh, a, a renovation. I should say a very light and modest renovation mm -hmm. um, of the senior community center uh, kitchen, and the, uh, we got a grant from the Hartford Foundation, a matching grant where if we put up $15,000, they'll put up $15,000, so mm -hmm. we'll get the renovation um, and it will uh, cost the town $15,000. So my thanks to the Commission on Aging for steering us in the right direction so that we were able to get the Hartford Foundation grant. That's fantastic. It is, it is really great. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to replace the tile, mm -hmm. replace the ceiling, mm -hmm. Uh, we're going to, and we're, we're going to use the current grid because we're, you know, we're, we're trying to be economical on this. So we're going to keep the same grid, but we'll paint the grid, mm -hmm. put new ceiling tiles up, so mm -hmm. it'll look great, and then uh, rip out the counter, and uh, and so that'll be three sinks and the mm -hmm. counter, yep. and then two garbage disposals. So that takes care of the ceiling, floor, plumbing, okay. and then you have. Um, 
the cabinets that are original equipment, uh, but uh, what we're looking to do is to cosmetically fix them. Mm -hmm. So they're still structurally sound. Mm -hmm. So we'll put some couple coats of paint on them and okay. maybe freshen up the hardware or you mm -hmm. walk in and it'll be a, a, a nice, clean, fresh look, uh, but it will be done in, you know, with uh, economy in mind mm -hmm. uh, and uh, so uh, you know you can say well geez why you know it's if it's still serviceable why do you want to do anything well mm -hmm. you start to see failure of sinks and things right. like that over the course of time but what it is is, is this is a very heavily used kitchen the, mm -hmm. uh, you know the nourish my soul uh, uh, has cooking groups uh, the uh, we have the community cuisine uh, mm -hmm. four times a year we have the lion's dinners, we have senior activities, mm -hmm. we've got so people the that use it, you know, use they, the scouts, youth services use it, along with we rent it out, it's available for rent. So uh, it's uh, after 29 years, it's time to freshen up the mm -hmm. kitchen a little mm -hmm. bit. Uh, previously in 2011, as a result of uh, you know the, the storm, uh, the Halloween storm, we saw how our, our um, equipment was in need of replacement, so we already mm -hmm. replaced the freezer and the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. uh, we also uh, we replaced the stove. So we've you know done this in stages, and uh, uh, so we're we're, um, we're we're think that this is a good plan, and we're appreciative of the fact that when we access fifteen thousand dollars from the town for this, we're going to access fifteen thousand dollars from the Harper Foundation, yeah. and we'll get uh, a, a nice. Uh, a nice freshening up and renovation mm -hmm. uh, of a good, uh, of a heavily used facility, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, everything's good. So we're asking for fifteen thousand dollars at our uh, Tuesday meeting. Right. So you'll go over all of those projects and just the um, the closing out of the the old ones, mostly. Right. So it shouldn't be too long of a meeting, uh, yeah. you know, the, uh, but uh, it, these things take as long as they take. Yeah. <laughs> well, sounds good. So what's the update with the roofs, the roads? Is the air conditioning going to go into Elm Grove? The, um, I'll answer that question first. Okay. Uh, we're, uh, we're, we're not optimistic that we're going to be able to do the air conditioning this year because yeah. we're pulling together an awful lot of pieces. And some mm -hmm. of those pieces that we're pulling together are coordinating with Eversource mm -hmm. in order to, uh, to get the power upgrade and then the electricians and then some design things that we're looking at. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, engineer planning yeah. and that sort of stuff. Did they already at least figure out how much more power they need? So they yes. kind of, okay, yes. so we, they started we, the, pro the progress. Absolutely, we've started the process uh, and, uh, you know, we've, we've got the, you know, electrical analysis and mm -hmm. how much, you know, what needs to happen. Um, I expect the building department, uh, the building uh, committee to act upon, uh, you know, some further uh, things that we need to do to commission uh, drawings and things like that. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're, we're on our way, but I'm not optimistic that it'll happen this year. We'll keep on working on it. We'll try to get it as soon as we can. Um, but you reach a point, especially if you're going to be doing things that would disrupt things during school, that mm -hmm. you, know, you, 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 you know, you can't, some of this stuff you can't do when the school right. is open. Mm -hmm. So there are vacations, there are things to look at, uh, yeah. but, but it's it a pretty is, big project. It is, it, it is, in this particular case, it's not just putting in air conditioning, it's actually designing and implementing a new electrical source and system mm -hmm. in order to be able to adequately carry the load. Yeah. So, so um, probably next summer, right? Probably, yeah, I haven't given up yet, but I, I think you're probably <laughs> more correct on that than yeah. I, unfortunately I want you to be. Yeah. Uh, the, um, on the um, roads, uh, we've uh, done uh, Seymour and, uh, and uh, Spoonville, thank you. Yeah. And we're doing Stark. Um, now, sometimes some of this work can be really startling uh, mm -hmm. because, you know, over the years, folks are used to seeing, you know, the milling machines, you know, they take you know, an inch or a half an mm -hmm. inch off and then, you know, we, you know, make sure that they, the drainage is all set and then we, mm -hmm. you know, 
lead, take care of things, and then they, you know, put two, three, four inches worth of asphalt down, and mm -hmm. and that's what we're used to. Um, mm -hmm. Some of these roads, and the reason why the the, the bond uh, was needed is some of these roads have never been paved other than the original paving when the mm -hmm. development opened. Yeah. And um, so uh, if that's the case, sometimes you have to rebuild the road. Okay. And so Stark is a case, is a case of that, where mm -hmm. you, you drive down it now, you, there's dirt there. I mean, yeah, because when you scrape that layer, there's nothing. Right, and you have to grade it, and then you, you know, and then if, you know if the weather cooperates, you know this is going to be a week of four days of rain, um, <laughs> and when you you don't know, pave when it rains because uh, it, it pave uh, paving uh, does not react well with moisture, especially rain. Uh, so, uh, uh, so anyways, the um, you know, so when, when you do that, you it can be a, a, a no pun intended, a stark contrast. <laughs> and, and in this particular case, um, you, you know, there's there's dirt that mm -hmm. you're seeing. So we're going to take care of it, and it's all part of the process, and it's all part of the plan. And by doing it this way, we're going to ensure that the job is done proper, and it's going to the road will hold up for mm -hmm. a long, long time. So we appreciate as we go through the neighborhoods um, in the next four years, but specifically as we go through the neighborhoods this year, we appreciate your your uh, your patience and your support on this as we go through. Because after we're done, then you've got a beautiful road, and yeah. and, and, and and that's the whole goal. You want to have a road that is serviceable and good, and we want to provide that for you. Mm -hmm. Uh, so we've done Seymour, we've done Spoonville, like I mentioned, we've, we're, we're doing Stark. We um, have uh, done what is called a, a chip seal process, and that's, uh, so that's putting tar down and stone. Yeah. Now we've only done it on now four roads, mm -hmm. or five roads. And we're not, you know, we're probably not going to do any more at this point because we've, okay. we're doing it on the roads that are, um, that are the right roads to do it on. Mm -hmm. And uh, you don't want to do that, that kind of a finish because with the tar and the stone, it's a little rough. Uh, mm -hmm. Now, when you, after it, it cures after a week, you barely know that it's different than a regular paved road. Right. Uh, but it's a, just a little bit rougher sometimes. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, you know, we, you're able to, uh, to, so as we go through this process, uh, we did it on Floydville, we did it on Wolcott, we did it on Lordship, we did it on Herman, uh, and so last year we did it on East Street. So what this does is it it's a fair road or a fair good road, mm -hmm. and it extends it by seven, eight, nine years. Yeah. And then when we have to pave it 10 years from now, mm -hmm. um, you do. You only probably have to do a coating of it as opposed to having to do the pulverization yeah. and everything that we described. Mm -hmm. So we're we're in we you know, we're in we're in good shape when it comes to, to that. Uh, it's about half the price of regular paving. So it's the maintenance part of this project. So we have yeah. we have paving and we have maintenance. It's mm -hmm. a comprehensive uh, comprehensive road program that we haven't had before. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be twenty two miles worth of road over five year period and uh, we're making a lot of progress in the first year. We were able to redo all the parking lots that were in very poor condition uh, at the town, the town campus and we'll just keep on working. Sounds good. And you're, uh, are you going to be able to do the Floyd, the bridge in Floydville? Something needs to be done, uh, dredging it or not uh, dredging it, we're, something? Scour. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, and we will address the scour. Uh, so the bridge is structurally sound, uh, but the uh, water works its way, and they call it scour, and uh, so they, it's eroding some of the river base, and yeah. we just need to go and, and, and fix that condition. Uh, we uh, have got a 50% grant from the, from the state. Mm -hmm. We're confirming that we have that. Then we'll go out for bid uh, for design, okay. and then we'll go ahead and go forward. So that is part of the road. Uh, bond dollars. That Will that probably be this year, probably next year? Next year. Next year. Next year. Okay. And uh, and then the, the last component, uh, but not the least, is the roof component. Mm -hmm. So we um, uh, we have started uh, the roofs over at All Grove and over at the middle school, high school. Uh, the If you drive by there, you'll see uh, 
lots and lots and lots of materials mm -hmm. uh, at both locations. Mm -hmm. And um, then uh, uh, the first thing, the, the first roof that's going to be finished or, or started, right, I should say, is all growth because that's a pretty simple thing to do. Mm -hmm. Well, the plumbing issues are being dealt with and the plumbing issues are the drains that are in the roof. They're very important. Right. Uh, there's a lot of plumbing work that has to be done at the middle school, high school for that. Uh, so. They'll be doing that. While they're doing that, the crew will be doing the roof over at Algrove. Okay. And then we, what, we'll, um, what we'll be able to do is if once uh, Algrove is done, and we anticipate that the bulk of the work at Algrove will be done you know, in middle of July, okay. in the first or second week of August, the, all the work will be done at Algrove. At the middle school, high school, we expect uh, to, probably after the 4th of July, they'll start tearing the roof. They've got all that prep work that they have to do before mm -hmm. that. And uh, and then uh, by August 20th, it will be substantially complete. So what is substantially complete? That's kind of cutting it close. Yeah, but, <laughs> well, I've always, uh, how many times have I said we got a whiskers uh, uh, margin here? Yeah. Uh, and uh, it all depends on the weather. Right. Uh, and at this point, because we've got everything else moving, but the uh, substantial complete is, is, you know, that the major part of the work is done. Mm -hmm. However, what has to happen is the, uh, uh, you know, some of the finished work and the trim mm -hmm. and, you know, and the flashing and, you know, some of the other things that need to be accomplished. So mm -hmm. that would be accomplished, but that can be, that can happen while children are in school. It, okay. it doesn't, it's not going to have an effect on, on, on the building from that perspective. Yeah. People would hardly know they're there. Yeah. Um, but the, you know, the real uh, messy work of ripping things off and those cauldrons of, of, of uh, the material of tar, the, yeah. uh, the tar kettles is what they call it, uh, that will be happening during July and August okay. uh, when people are not in the building. Some staff will be in the building, mm -hmm. uh, but and when we get to their particular area, then they'll move to a different location. Okay. So uh, we're, um, we're, we're excited uh, that we were able to get this project going and mm -hmm. we are cautiously optimistic barring any unforeseen issues, especially weather, yeah. that uh, we will hit both of those dates and, mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, they'll do the finished work as they need to do the finished work. And uh, that all only leaves the town roofs. Um, yeah. And the, the town roofs, uh, we are going to, uh, we, we went out to bid and we're in the process of figuring the bids out at this point. Okay. And um, we expect to do that sometime in the late summer or early fall. Okay. So you'll be able to get to the town during the summer as well, or fall. Yeah, and, and what, you know, our, our roofs are a lot uh, less complicated uh, mm -hmm. than the, especially the middle school, high school roof. There's so many pieces of building and so many right. different specialties and you know, a lot of square footage. Uh, and um, so, you know, they can be ripping off, and you know, and it would be like when we did the paving is, you know, maybe the temporary entrance is the back of the building, and, okay. and then, you know, in, when the, that back needs to be done, well, the entrance is will be in the front. Yeah. So we'll rope it off and that sort of stuff, but we're going to be doing the ambulance building, the public safety, which is police and fire, mm -hmm. town hall, Senior Community Center and the roof down at the uh, uh, Seymour Firehouse. Right. So. Okay. So that, in a nutshell, is what's happening with roads, roofs, and air conditioning. It's a busy summer. <laughs> it is a busy summer. Um, we have a youth services commission. You have an opening available? Yeah, we still have an. We still have an opening available. Yeah. We need a, a, a couple members for the uh, adult members for mm -hmm. the board. We do have student members. Uh, and what it is, is it's the Youth Services Commission and uh, things that are provided, uh, services and programs that are provided for, for youth uh, mm -hmm. that aren't necessarily done by the schools. Right. So there's some extra counseling that we provide. Um, there's also uh, the Youth Action Committees uh, that we've uh, done over the last three years. Yeah. 
Um, and uh, you know, so there's a lot of things that we as a town do besides Park and Rec mm -hmm. to support the children in our in our community. Mm -hmm. And um, there's a commission uh, that you know, a seven person commission, and they're down a couple members. And yeah. if anyone is interested in learning more about what a commission member does, they meet once a month. Uh, certainly be glad to fill them in. So if you want to contact the selectman's office at 860-413-3301 mm -hmm. or you can go on the town website and either click on my name, you'll see my email address, mm -hmm. or click uh, on uh, uh, info. info and it'll come up info at egtownhall.com and we uh, will answer any questions within 24 hours. Okay, sounds good. All right, the RCC permits are coming up. Yeah. July 1st. Yeah, the, uh, and so what I mentioned, uh, this is the, um, so we have the $50 permit fee hasn't changed. Uh -huh. It's the, the way it's been since it started mm -hmm. about 10 years ago. And uh, the, uh, so every year you have to renew. The mm -hmm. renewal is July 1 to the end of July. And um, the first day that falls into August is when you need to be in compliance. Okay. So I, I meant to look at my calendar before yeah. I sat down here so I could say to you, August 2nd is the first day that you know you, you need um, to make sure you have your, uh, your uh, you know, this is easy, right? Yeah, I think okay. August 2nd is a Friday. Okay, so it would be by August 3rd you need to have uh, your... Yeah. Yeah, August 3rd so what I'm second. doing is I'm just looking at the calendar and... <laughs> Do they, they can get it right at the RCC, they don't have to come Correct. to the town hall. Correct. So and you have to, what do you have to bring with you? License and? Yeah, so you're, you're, you were absolutely right about the date. So August 3rd, by August 3rd, you need to have your new sticker. So you got a whole month to transition in. We'll mm -hmm. have extra folks at the uh, RCC to facilitate that. Okay. Uh, you need your license uh, and uh, you know, the registration. Mm -hmm. And if you have uh, already have had a permit, that makes it even easier. Okay. And, um, and so then you renew the permit and they put a new sticker inside mm -hmm. your, your uh, windshield. And uh, that's it, you're good to go. Um. I was just curious about, we had talked about like tipping fees changing and that type of thing. Will that eventually affect the price of the permits or does that just have to do more with just your garbage that service that comes to your house? No, it's uh, it's all, you know, the tipping fee increase, which is dramatic, mm -hmm. uh, was a, uh, in the, by the time we get the second increase in July, it would be $11 on a tipping fee. So the $72 tipping fee went up to $84, $83, $83. Um, and uh, so that increases the cost of the operation. Mm -hmm. So you can do it you know, two ways. First of all, permit is a, you know, a permit fee is a tax. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, anytime you're paying something you know, to the government, right. whether it's municipal or state or federal, you know, it's a tax, which is why some people are opposed to tolls. Is mm -hmm. well, it's, it's another tax. I don't need another tax, and certainly that's not. This isn't the forum to discuss, uh, <laughs> uh, or to, not to discuss, but to debate that. Yeah. Uh, but uh, but certainly when you come to the permit fee, you know, mm -hmm. it, it's another tax. It's fifty mm -hmm. fifty dollars. So you pay. You know, you can look at it two ways. You can say, okay, the fifty dollars helps defray the cost. Yes. And it uh, and it's for the users, mm -hmm. you know, the people that actually use it. So it def it defrays the cost, and that's fine. The other way you can look at it is, okay, well, if the operation goes up, either you raise the permit, right, or you pay for it with more tax dollars. Okay. And either so we way, we don't pay with it with a permit; we pay with the tax dollars. Right. Okay. So we in right now. I'm sure we've gone over it before, but I was just thinking. And, and right now we pay we pay for the operation with both. Yeah. If we didn't have that fifty thousand dollars that we get for permit fees, mm -hmm. then that would be fifty thousand dollars more that we'd have to come out of the budget. So yeah. the permit fee helps goes as a credit to mm -hmm. the budget um, instead of uh, a straight expense. Yeah. So uh, hopefully that I didn't confuse anybody. Yeah. No, I just was thinking about it because I know we've talked about it a lot and I couldn't remember how it was added in. And dog license renewal, how is that going? That just started in June. Yeah. They, well, you only have the month of June, okay. uh, and uh, it's going well. The, uh, so dog renewals are handled by the uh, town clerk mm -hmm. you know, office, 
and uh, you know, yearly the dog needs to be licensed uh, after the dog reaches six months of age, mm -hmm. and uh, then uh, every year after that. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, if you adopt a dog, you have 30 days to get the license for the, the dog that you've adopted, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, then every June thereafter. Mm -hmm. uh, there's um, if, if you've already done it and, and you have a valid rabies uh, uh, certificate on file, mm -hmm. you can go online and, mm -hmm. and renew. But otherwise, come on down to town clerk's office, mm -hmm. uh, and there are nice people down there. They'll answer any questions you have, mm -hmm. and they'll help uh, uh, help you with the, uh, get the renewal. Mm -hmm. The spayed uh, or neutered uh, dogs are eight dollars, and the unaltered dogs are nineteen dollars. Um, the, if you go to the tax clerk's uh, button on the website mm -hmm. and you click on it, it comes up. The first button you can see is dog licenses, so it'll tell you all about it. But for, uh, by the end of June, you need to uh, you need to renew the dog license or purchase a dog license. Okay. Uh, and then um, the uh, over the course of time, the animal control officer monitors to make sure that all the dogs are are appropriately licensed and the appropriate certificates that they have mm -hmm. for public safety. Right. That makes sense. Well, what's going on at Newgate Prison? I mean, it's all painted up and it's open for the season. Do they have any good things going on this summer? they got a lot of great things going on. they got music and they've got different programs and things yeah. like that. If you go on the, the uh, you just type in Old Newgate Prison and you'll get their website and it'll come up. Uh, it's, we're really excited that this is the first full year, uh, you know, but I mean, it's the second year in a row. Yeah. Um, they're doing a great job with programs and uh, getting people involved and mm -hmm. communicating with people on Facebook and pictures mm -hmm. and all the and, and wonderful programs. Uh, so it's an asset of the town. Uh, because it brings people to town, to, uh, to, to town. Mm -hmm. and so that has, you know, some has, uh, it does have some economic development um, potential, yeah. and that's great. Uh, it's uh, operated, owned and operated by the state of Connecticut, it's one of the four museums, uh, that the state museums that they, they oversee, and uh, we can't be any more delighted than we are, that it's just so successful, there's people, have forgotten that for 10 or 11 years they couldn't go there and they're, they're coming in droves now and, mm -hmm. and, and, and the state, specifically uh, Morgan, who's running uh, the operation down there, mm -hmm. they're, they're doing a great job. Good. Well, that's exciting. I'm glad everything's going well. Well, it sounds like you have some busy financial stuff coming up with the town meeting and everything's kind of planned out for the summer. Yeah, the, uh, so the, uh, we'll hopefully uh, with the town permission and uh, next Tuesday at 7.30 at the Senior Community Center, mm -hmm. uh, the uh, town will, uh, will confirm the capital projects. I didn't say it this time, but I've said it many other times. When we do the capital projects, these are not new dollars. This right. is not extra spending. This is mm -hmm. planned spending that you as a taxpayer have approved mm -hmm. when you when the budget passes. Yeah. So you say, well, I didn't approve it. I voted against the budget. Okay, but the majority voted for it that caused the budget to be uh, enacted. And in that was a $600,000 for capital projects. Mm -hmm. So we're accessing the dollars that are in the budget. This is not a new purchase. This right. is not an unplanned purchase. This is not any extra purchase. Yeah. This is all part of working the plan. Well, sounds good. Well, we can talk more about it when we meet in July, I yes, guess, we can. how that all went. Well, thank you for talking with me today, and this concludes our June episode of Town Topics, and we'll see everyone in July. And happy 4th of July, because we probably won't tape this until mid-July. That's so. right. Happy 4th of July. Thank you, everybody.